Hello everybody, Andrew Lansky here with Dental Tutoring. Let's talk about how to make studying over the holidays a lot easier because you have to remember, you have to be realistic, okay? The holidays are coming, you won't want to study 24 seven. And if you do, you will just be upset at yourself. You'll be thinking about so many other things. You'll be thinking about why do I have to study over the holidays and you won't study as effectively as if you were really, you know, focusing and not thinking about the holidays, seeing, you know, um, seeing, seeing friends, seeing family, seeing just everybody, right? So what I suggest you do, so it is the end of November now, study like crazy now, study like crazy, but then give yourself time off over the holidays. The amount of time off is up to you, but I would say at least one week. Do not study for at least one week. But if that's too hard for you, because perhaps you're taking the board exam in a couple weeks or just after the holidays, depending on where you live, that might be too hard for you to just not study at all. And then if you don't pass, you might you might wonder if it's because you weren't, you know, studying every single day. So if you wanted to still study, of course, that's okay, but maybe do it for an hour in the morning, an hour in the evening, that's it. Or have fun, you know, enjoy the holidays all day, but then maybe study two hours at night, but that's it. So what I don't want you guys doing is to study, you know, for six hours every single day because you won't study as effectively because you will have so many other things. And taking a break does the body good. Trust me, taking a break, taking time to just not look at your notes, textbooks, modules, tutoring, all of that does the body good. I mean, even for my, um, for my students, we have a tutoring session the first weekend of next month. So the first weekend of December, let me look at my calendar here. Whoops, sorry, my, my calendar just closed. I did open it, but then it closed. So we have a session the first weekend of December, which is December the 2nd, um, but that's it. But then I tell them to, you know, take the rest of the time off. There are still modules, PowerPoints, everything for them to look at if they want to, but there won't be anything new until the new year because, hey, I need time off too. You guys need time off more than me, even at the dental office. I always take three weeks off, always. Um, this year, actually, um, since I work in two offices, I forgot to tell the one office that I usually take time off. So I will be working two Fridays at the end of the month, but you know what? That's okay. I love the office. I don't mind. But the other office where I work Tuesdays and Thursdays, I will not be because I always take time off at the end of the year because as you guys know, I'm always doing something. I don't work nine to five. I work from like 7 a.m. till 11 a.m. some nights from home, so I can't complain. But when I work at the dental office Tuesdays and Thursdays, you know, that's uh, that's a lot more, that feels like work to me. Whereas working from home, tutoring, teaching doesn't feel like work as much. And it's just nice to be home. But I still need time off too. So if I need time off, you guys need time off as well. I'm just closing up my calendar here. So take a break. Try not to study too much. Do not feel like it's a bad thing not to study. But if you're that person who just needs to make sure you're able to get some studying in, then study either in the morning or at night or or both. But that's it. Do not do not study, you know, all day, six hours a day. No take a break. It's the end of November. So it's time to take a break. The holidays are coming. You need to do Christmas shopping, all kinds of fun stuff, right? So if you guys need help, let me know. Um, the board exam prep Academy is now open for dental hygiene students and dental assisting students for taking the board exam. So if you're taking the board exam soon, sign up for that because I give you guys everything, what you need to know uh, per week, per week, um, what you have to study. Plus we do do our live tutoring sessions on Sundays, except for next month because we're taking a break, but you have all of that in there for you to get started with studying. So I do make it a lot easier. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.